So Yannick Ngakwe, defensive end for the Jacksonville Jaguars, seems to want out. And that was from a tweet from a couple weeks ago saying he wasn't going to play for the Jacksonville Jaguars long term. Big free agent defensive end. Got franchise tagged before free agency. Is going to be uh, franchise tagged for $19.3 million. Now, Howie Roseman and the Philadelphia Eagles seem to be very interested. As well as the Seahawks, the Dolphins, the Jets. Couple, few teams are interested in trading for him. What are you going to have to give up to get Yannick Ngakwe? Probably a lot. Is he worth it? In a lot of cases, he is. Do we need Yannick Ngakwe? No. Can we use Yannick Ngakwe for the future? Yes. We don't know what Derek Barnett's going to do this year. We don't know the future of Derek Barnett. Obviously, I don't think he's going to be here. I think Jannard Avery could actually beat him out of his job. I have never seen a free agent. You know how free agents go into free agency, the big ones, and they start flirting with teams for a long time. Or Yannick can pull Le'Veon Bell, not play all year, and kind of just put pressure on the front office of the Jacksonville Jaguars. Yannick has looked at teams. Yannick has figured out probably where he wants to go. And it seems like Yannick Ngakwe wants to go to the Philadelphia Eagles. Okay. This this is pretty much straightforward, guys. This isn't like he's giving he's giving hints, but they're legit eye-seeing hints that are right in front of you that you're saying he wants to go there. Yannick, his first he put up a picture, and these I'm gonna discuss all of this. The hints that he's put out there. Yannick has put a picture of what? The first picture he had was the eagle emoji. And then it, had, it said dot, 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 and it said vulture. And then people were like, oh, he wants to go to the Seahawks. But then the next picture he pulled up, put up, it was a picture of Reggie White. Rest in peace. Then, I, I might not get these in order, so whatever. Then he put a quote saying, the meek, sh- the meek, M-E-E-K, the meek shall inherit the earth. Meek Mill, the meek. Weird, right? Then he puts a picture of a cheesesteak, and it says, need one, never had it. Then he puts two separate pictures, not just Reggie White. He put two separate pictures of Trent Cole, beloved Trent Cole. This kind of tells you a lot. So he's seeing what is happening and how people are reacting to it. And then his latest tweet that he's tweeted out was, give the people what they want. I feel like I'm reading, I think I'm reading a goddamn story out of this whole thing. Like the story of him coming to the Eagles. That's, that's what he wants. He's just posting numerous, he's posting numerous Philadelphia Eagles <coughs> pictures and, and stuff that involves the Eagles. Obviously, he wants to come to the Philadelphia Eagles. You can't get, like, there, there are free agents that flirt, but they're, they flirt with everybody, but they really hint different things with a lot of different. This is, like, straightforward. He wants to be in an Eagles uniform. Period. Okay? This, this would be a luxury to have him here. We don't know if Derek Barnett's going to you know, do anything. I, I mean, I don't know. Derek Barnett probably could be off this team after next year. If his numbers don't go up, he could probably be off this team. Jannard Avery could take that spot. But for a guy that I think that's, I think he just turned 25, 34, 35 and a half sacks, whatever the hell it is, at 24 years old, of la- after last year and a four-year career, the numbers, the youth, the Eagles have a huge shot. And I know for a damn fact, because the rumors that I saw was how he already put how he kind of work in the work in the phone lines, putting in the putting in a bid for it, and he's trying to move money around. Because to tell you the truth, guys, there's gonna be some restructures if this happens, okay? There's gonna be restructures. I don't know what it's gonna cost to get him in here, but if they end up getting him in here. NFL lookout. 
Offensive lines, look out. Even without him, I think this defensive line is going to be one of the best this year, regardless. Adding Javon Hargrave. Jannard Avery's coming back to the mix. Malik Jackson added on top of that. It's going to be unfair. You bring Yannick in this room, this pass rush, and then on top, we, we're, we're not stuck with Ronald Darby and Jalen Mills at corner anymore. You got Darius Slay. That's going to make it all tough. I can't even wait to see a, an actual pass rush with Darius Slay playing, playing cornerback. And whatever they do at the other side, whether they, they keep one of their guys in that other outside spot or they go get Logan Ryan or whatever. One of, one of these, you know, got corners in free agency because there's a lot of corners actually on the board right now. Other than that, that's pretty much it. Yannick Ngakwe could be a Philadelphia Eagle. Leave a comment in the comment section below if you what you guys think of what he's been doing the past couple of weeks. It is too exciting to not think about it. You let me know. I'll see you guys later. Shake squad up. Fly, I'll fly. Yeah,